Gina Lala Brigida is a former Italian actress who rose to prominence in both American and Italian film productions before retiring from acting and venturing into a career as a photojournalist. But today, at 94, Gina seems to be making headlines for all the wrong reasons, whether it's for her long-standing feud with fellow Golden Age sex symbol Sophia Loren or the various lawsuits she's involved in, Gina can't seem to find peace from the tabloids in her old age. Join Facts First as we take a look at Gina Lalla Brigida. Gina Lalla Brigida was born in Italy on July 4, 1927. The young future star's striking good looks became apparent from an early age, and she grew up to be considered one of the most beautiful women on the planet. It was during her young adulthood that she decided to pursue a career as a model, and she found a good deal of success right away. As is often the case, Gina's success as a model led to her getting offers for film roles, and she began appearing in Italian features by the time she was of age. Although Gina found quite a bit of success in her home country of Italy, her entry into American cinema ended up being delayed as a result of a contract dispute with Howard Hughes. Howard had been the first American film executive to catch sight of Gina and subsequently swept her up into a contract with his production studio. The deal occurred while Gina was still living overseas, and she decided she didn't like the terms of her contract with Howard before officially making the move to Hollywood. Because of this, Gina decided to wait out the contract in her home country while continuing to film Italian features. Gina Lala Bridget signed her contract with Howard Hughes in 1950, and the contract ended in 53. Gina never ended up filming any pictures with Howard over the time period, refusing the terms of her contract. In 1953, Gina was finally free from Howard's grasp and found herself able to make her official American debut. The feature that first introduced the Italian starlet to mainstream American audiences was Beat the Devil. After making her debut in American cinemas, Gina Lala Brigida continued acting in both American and Italian features over the course of the remaining 1950s, as well as the majority of her career as an actress. One of her biggest critical successes was in 1961, when she received a Golden Globe Award for her performance alongside actor Rock Hudson in Come September. The film also featured Bobby Darin and Sandra Dee, though no star shined quite so bright as Gina herself. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Gina wasn't quite as big of a star as she'd been. The Italian starlet made a successful segue into television, with her biggest success coming thanks to her role on the series Falcon Crest. Gina performed a five-episode stint on the series in 1984, and the role she played on it had originally been meant for Sophia Loren. Gina and Sophia have had a long-standing feud since the early days of both of their careers. As her acting career dwindled, Gina Lala Brigida decided it was time for a career change. She had always had a passion for photography, and she decided it was time to explore that passion by becoming a photojournalist. At first, her success in the arena of photojournalism came from her snapping pictures of her former co-workers in the entertainment industry. Gina became known as a celebrity photographer of note, but that didn't satisfy her. After a few years of making a living taking snapshots of her celebrity friends, Gina decided to use her celebrity clout to secure an interview with Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. In addition to the fact that she was a famous celebrity, Gina claims she was able to get on the dictator's good side and secure the interview by telling him it would remain apolitical. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Gina Lala Brigida. After getting on the good side of Cuban dictator Fidel Castro, Gina Lala Brigida was able to secure an extraordinarily in-depth interview with the controversial political figure. The two spent 12 days together in Cuba, during which time Gina learned quite a bit about the man. The interview helped Gina make a name for herself as a photojournalist, whereas she hadn't been taken very seriously in the profession before. Besides being known nowadays for her photojournalism, Gina also continues to pop up in headlines in modern times thanks to various minor, though bizarre, controversies. Though the actress has only been officially married once during her life, she has had many lovers, and a few of these lovers have turned against her, one of whom was Javier Rigao y Raffles. Recently, Javier allegedly tricked the venerated Italian starlet into marrying him so he could steal her money. Gina is still battling Javier over the case of this supposedly fraudulent marriage, with her having a hard time proving the marriage was actually faked. 
It occurred in 2015 with the help of an elderly stand-in to take the place of Gina Lala Brigida, whom Javier claimed couldn't be there physically for one reason or another. Though this may sound like a sketchy business, it seems Javier was able to trick Gina into signing a contract that consented to the strange marriage, making it official. For her part, Gina claims she didn't even know what language Javier was speaking at the time, and she simply was doing what he wanted. Gina also claims the relationship never truly blossomed into anything intimate, and she wasn't aware of their supposed marriage until stumbling upon the documents by chance and getting angry. There's also the matter of the star being sued by her own son, whom she shares with first and only husband, Milko Skofik. That son takes his father's name, and it appears Gina has been estranged from both of them for quite some time. Gina and Milko were married from 1949 to 71, and she's been estranged from Milko Skofik Jr. for years. The reason Milko Skofik Jr. is suing his mother is because he feels the elderly actress is being taken advantage of by her personal assistant. That's a man named Andrea Piazzola, and he started out as Gina's personal driver before slowly gaining the actress's trust. Now, Andrea's entire family lives with Gina, and he functions not only as her personal assistant, but seemingly as the manager of her entire estate. It appears Andrea takes funds from Gina to buy gifts for himself at his leisure. Milko Skofik Jr. has successfully managed to have his mother's largest assets frozen until the authorities can figure out whether or not Andrea is taking advantage of Gina. In the meantime, 94-year-old Gina is publicly crying out for the authorities to simply let her be during what will likely be the final years of her life. Gina says she's fully aware of the funds Andrea has taken and that their close personal relationship has come as a result of her own wishes. It seems Andrea has become somewhat of a surrogate son for Gina in the wake of Milko Skofik Jr.'s estrangement. Gina's various legal battles are still ongoing, and so is the actress's feud with fellow Golden Age Italian starlet Sophia Loren. Gina still claims to be the better of the two Italian starlets, not only because she's the eldest, but because she got her start in the industry much more independently. Sophia is now 87, and the two stars are some of the last remaining remnants of old Hollywood sexuality. Despite her numerous controversies, there are still things Gina Lala Brigida does to keep the public on her side. She's been known for her exuberant jewelry collection, but she ended up selling it for charity in 2015. It sold for $5 million, and profits from the sale furthered stem cell research. A few years later, in 2018, the then 90-year-old Italian starlet was given her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these stories about Gina Lala Brigida was most surprising to you? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.